The true original language is hidden in Ghana with the Ewes. The true original language is hidden in Ghana with the Ewes. Now, let us go and look at the sons of Shem. Please be quick for me. Then these are the sons of Shem. Uh -huh. After their families. After their families. After their tongues. After their tongues. In, their In their lands. In their lands. After their nations. After their nations. Okay. So Genesis chapter 10 is the table of nations. Mm -hmm. Now look at Genesis chapter 11 verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. So there was one language that the whole earth spoke. Mm. Under that one kingdom under Nimrod. Okay. Okay. So he had his state language that everybody spoke. So now they came together in that unification language to build the Tower of Babel. Yeah. Okay. But they all had their native languages and there was confusion. Okay. Okay. Now, the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. Mm -hmm. That is to say, they had one vision, and they understood each other. Okay. Now, verse 2. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shina, and they dwelt there. Remember that Genesis chapter 10 has given us the various tribes mm -hmm. with their families, tongues, nations, and countries. Yes. Yeah. But then in Genesis chapter 11, we have the whole land mm -hmm. being of one language and of one speech, one speech, yet they didn't lose their ethnicities, their divisions, yeah. their lineages, and their fathers. Mm -hmm. right. And it came to pass that as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shina, and they dwelt there, verse 3, and they said one to another, go to let us make brick and bend them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime they had for mortar. And they said, let us build us a city. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at a people that want to become a metropolitan or a cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. And a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. And the Lord came down mm -hmm. to see the city and the tower, okay. which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, behold, the people is one. Okay. And they have all one, one language. language. <laughs> Not one tongue. No. They have all one language. Okay. But they are of different tongues. Okay. He said, and this they begin to do. Mm. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Mm. So what? Let us go down there. And do what? Confound their language. So that one universal language was what was confounded. Okay. But our tongues were not confounded. Okay. Our families were not confounded. Okay. There was no confusion that the Hamitic was Hamitic. Mm -hmm. The Shemite was a Shemite. Okay. And they kept their languages in their various tribes, families, countries, and lands and nations. Now hear this. I want you to follow carefully. Hear this. Sure. There were now, please follow slowly. Yes, Papa. There was a language of Shem, yes. the language of Ham, and the language of Japheth. Okay. Now, these three lineages became the 17 nations. Yes. Do you agree? Yes, Papa. Do you know that in the 17 nations, there is no mention of Israel there is only the mention of Eber. Okay. Okay. In the lineage of Abraham, mm. there is only the, he said, by these were the islands of the Gentiles divided in their lands, everyone after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. Okay. When you read on, and the sons of Ham, Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. Mm. Then now, and the sons of Cush, Seba, Havila, then we go to the sons of Shem. And under that table, we now come under Eber. No mention of Israel. Okay. Because Israel didn't appear here. Israel came after Jacob. Yes. Yeah. And Eber through Abraham, now through Isaac to Jacob. Mm. Now get this. When we talk about Hebrew, there are various dialects. And it has even been strained and sieved to ten. 
There are various dialects. There is Arabian Hebrew. Arabic actually is Hebrew. What we call Hebrew today is not true Hebrew. Mm. It is the Hebrew of the Japhetites. It's called Ashkenazi Hebrew. Okay. And Ashkenazi is not from Shem. Okay. Ashkenaz was from Japheth. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you are getting the things that I'm saying. Yes, okay, now go and look at the sons of Japheth and within the table of nations, you will see Ashkenaz. Okay. And so... The moment we understand the sons of Japheth and under the table of nations, we see Ashkenazi. Then we have Ashkenazi. Now see, and the sons of Gomer. Let's do Genesis chapter 10, verse 2 and verse 3 so that people can see what I'm talking about. Go. The sons of Japheth. Uh -huh. Gomer. So the first child of Japheth was Gomer. Okay. And Magog and Madai and Javan and Tubal and Meshach and Tiras. Mm -hmm. Now, and the sons of Gomer... Oh, can you talk out loud? Ashkenaz. Ashkenaz. Now, so how can you tell me that these people in the present land of Israel are the true Hebrews when they speak Ashkenazi Hebrew? They are Ashkenazi Jews. So there is there are various dialects of the Hebrew language. Ashkenazi Hebrew. There is Eastern Hebrew, which is known as Arabic. That is what these Arabians speak. Sephardic Hebrews from Spain and from Europe. Their true original language is hidden in Ghana with the Airways. True original language is hidden in Ghana with the Airways. Mm. Pure, straight to the point. Mm. The one that we are saying is Hebrew is not the true one. Okay. So the Bible talks about a pure language mm. in the book of Zephaniah. The purest of Hebrew is the ones that the air bears the speak. The purest of Hebrew is the ones that the air bears speak. They call themselves, they are the only nation that still refer to themselves as Evers or Ebers. Okay. It is out of their stock, when you listen to their language, it is out of their stock that all the other languages gain their identity from. Okay. I don't want to go into issues to become <laughs> tribalistic here mm -hmm. because the very language that we speak Maybe I shall move on. <laughs> the Ebers. No, I don't want to create problem on this platform. <laughs> <laughs> the very language that we speak. Fanti, I can, this and that and that. Ebers. They give definition. Without them, there will be no Asante. They are the leaders of the people who came down. They, they, are, they are the eye. Mm. They led in the migrations. Okay. As we speak today, there are Ebers in Nigeria. Yes. They speak pure Eber. Mm. The Eber language. So he said, for them will I tend to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. 